What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and today we're back with a tying tutorial. We got a really, really cool one here for you today. Jig oriented, spawn football beads, spawn semi seal, and a really cool little integration on the tail. Stay tuned and we'll bring this one to life. All right, in the vise we have an Arex SA254 size number six and we got a spawn football bead, seven millimeter in fluorescent pink. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lock that bead into place here with some lead free wire wraps. Not really looking to add weight, just adding security of that bead. We want that bead to lock into place and we're gonna do so through these lead wire wraps. All right. And then we are gonna start to lay down some thread. Today we are using Vivas 140. Snip that off, angled wraps, and then come in straight and locking that into place. And now that's not going anywhere. So far, so good. All right, so all over the internet lately, we've been seeing a lot of different leeches. So Every fly designing company has come out with a new leech. For the most part, most of them aren't reinventing the wheel and neither will this one, but it will add some really cool little elements. So what we did here is we have some of this mohair, the uni mohair, and it comes on this spool here in black. So what we did is we took a, a hairline 3D bead and we slipped it on here. So just on one side like so, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create an extended tail. And you might have seen this with different materials done. This is a quick and easy way. You can dub your, uh, you can dub uh, with a dubbing loop and do this, but this is gonna achieve more or less the same consistency with doing so. So the important thing is to know when you're measuring this, know that it's gonna have to fold four times in order to work correctly. So that's what it's gonna look like afterwards. Obviously a little bit cleaner but that's sort of the tail that we're going for. So we're gonna tie that in right like so. And I'll show you why we're gonna need four. Trim that off. And let's really tie this down. All right, so we got it here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna thread the bead to the middle on one side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dubbing spinner and we're going to spin this up. Hopefully you can see a little bit. And we're going to spin that up. Really spin it up. Alrighty, so now as you can see we have this mohair that's spun up. We have the bead in the middle, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back over itself, and we're gonna let it go the opposite direction. So we're gonna re-spin it backwards. So what it's gonna do is create this almost like a braid. See this, how it's gonna extend? So that's what's gonna happen here, is it's gonna extend off the tail section here. It's gonna add a hot spot to the front of the fly and the rear section of the fly. And it's gonna extend past that hook. So what we're gonna do here, just get one or two wraps and we can slip off that dubbing spinner and we can tie that down on the bottom. Looks a little messy right now, but that is the gist of it. So you can see how that's gonna come down here like so. And next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put it back in the vise and we're gonna brush this out so you can it's, it's very secure now. The core of this mohair is gonna keep it all in place, but we want it to look buggy. We don't want it to look like a rope. We don't want it to look just like a thread sticking out the back of the hook with a egg or a bead on it. Um, we want it to look buggy in the water. So what we're gonna do here is kind of get in there and vigorously brush all this out. And this is gonna, once it hits the water, look very, very buggy. So go both ways. 
and just get those fibers to get loose that are trapped underneath and like so we got ourselves a really cool little profile tail on this jig oriented fly. Next thing we're going to do here, Spawn Simi Seal is taking over and we have redesigned our black blue to something that is frankly fantastic. So Pete did this up, it is phenomenal, you're going to want this. It has that same uh, UV blue properties but now it has some added flash to it and boy does this work. This is the new black UV blue that is in the hairline catalog. For those of you that are looking to see this firsthand, be sure to tell all your local fly shops to get it. And if they don't, we got tons of it here at Spawn Fly Fish. So what we're gonna do, and this is the Mega. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to dub it in and veil it back, little clump and dump. You know I had to do it. So we'll do that, and then we're just gonna work our way forward. Probably should have done a dubbing loop, but you guys know me, always looking for a quick way to get this movement on the vise and maximize that time on the water. This is gonna be a phenomenal fly for coho as they move in here. We got this B run situation here. I'm gonna trim a little bit of that off. Um, just there so you can really see the tail we want that tail to move around we want it to be visible um, so keep that in mind alrighty and we'll just keep clumping dumping all the way up if you use the dubbing loop work it up to right about three millimeters behind that bead I use the pink underbody, which is totally okay if it shines through. All right, we're going to get about one more clump in there. Before we add another element here. So we got purple, we got, I mean, we got pink, we got black, we got blue. Already gave it away. Add one more of my favorite colors here, and that is purple. I got a little bit of a mess going here with the clump and dump, but that's okay. The fly is gonna do exactly what we want. So we got some crazy legs here. They got that blue flake. This is just a frankly phenomenal leg. So on this, we're gonna take three full legs, and we're just gonna tie them straight on the bottom of this pattern. So we're, we want these things to flow very freely. So we're just gonna bring them on directly on the bottom here. We're gonna bring that first set down, tie it down, bring that second set down, tie it right over the first section, just like so. So you see these hang that like, uh, a little bit farther than that bead, which is fine. We're gonna take this and we're gonna trim it off right at where the bead is, like so. So when this thing drops, it's gonna go everywhere. This tail's still gonna hold here. They're gonna come in, eat this, and it will be game on. All right, finishing off this leech. More spawn semi-seal. And it is nice. So this probably will do it for us here. Just one or two more little thin sections of clump and dump semi-seal on here, right behind the bead. Good veil. Make sure we're getting some coverage. And that will do it. Really cool little leech pattern. I'm gonna whip finish here, add some head cement. Resituate that so you can maybe see it a little better. Got a squeak in my bobbin. And we are really looking forward to those bee run fish coming in. This is gonna be a killer little fly for those. One last step, we got some loon hardhead. And then we are ready to hit the water.
Try not to get it too far into your semi seal. Work that around. Yahtzee. There it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is going to be a great pattern for us all winter long. Hope it gives you a little bit of excitement here and some ideas that you can curate on your vise at home with using this mohair with this bead, creating a hot spot at the rear section of the fly. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.